Diamond Platinum's girlfriend and baby mama Tanasha Donna has had her fair share of back and forth with her critics. A lot of people dubbed her as a gold digger and suggested that she was in it for the money after she and Diamond started dating. Finally, through an Instagram post, the new mom decided to address the age-old rumors. According to Tanasha, she has her own money and can fund her lifestyle by herself without any help from her wealthy bay. The caramel-skinned radio presenter added that she might be not rich, but at least she was born with a hustling spirit. Gorgeous actress Brenda Wairimo and her ex-lover Giuliani are clear proof that mature exes still exist. The two share a kid and have never publicly bashed each other or class on social media, as is the norm with other separated lovers. On Wednesday, January 8th, the duo linked up to mark their daughter's milestone in the most adorable way. Their baby girl Amor and Jerry turned five and any differences they had were set aside so the little girl could have a fulfilling day. Brenda even shared a few photos of the gospel singer and the poet holding their daughter and sharing a hearty laugh with the lucky birthday girl. Celebrated singer Avril and her counterpart Naiboy have left fans laughing after their online war. In a post shared by Naiboy, he asked his fans to suggest and tag artists they would wish to collaborate with and exempted Avril from the list. The singer was quick to warn the fans about the Nakuru born singer, but trust can to ignite fire as some of them went ahead to tag her. Avril went to express her disinterest, saying that she would never wish to be his girlfriend, arguing. The singer went on to express her disinterest in the singer, saying that she would never wish to be his girlfriend, urging him to forgive and forget. It is a blow to Ugandan socialite Zari Hassan after her late ex-husband's family disinherited her from her late husband's property. In a ruling made by the late Evan Semwanga's clan, Peter Ntale, the eldest son to Zari and Evan, was named the official heir for the multi-million properties. Ntale was made the heir in a highly attended clan meeting in Kanyuga district in Kalido, where the late tycoon was buried. Cops were at R. Kelly's pad in Chicago because his two girlfriends were fighting, and it's all on camera. Chicago PD responded to a report of battery at R. Kelly's Trump Tower condo shortly after Azria, Clary, and Joycelyn Savage came into blows. Azria was on Instagram Live Wednesday afternoon as she prepared by gathering her things to move out of the condo and when Joycelyn came to the room, both women went off on each other. Azria said she was looking out for herself and then threatened her fellow counterpart to jail for the very thing R. Kelly is facing. <laughs>